Morning this morning, St. Pete Mayor Ken Welch will dive into major projects the city is taking on and how they're moving forward for 2024. Yeah, one of those projects we know surrounds that new raised stadium, but also affordable housing promised to those who've lived in the historic gas plant district for years. Ten Tampa Bay reporter Andrea Lyon has been following this project since it was announced. She's live from City Hall in St. Pete this morning with a look at the mayor's progress report we're expecting today. Right. Hey, good morning, Caitlin and Jameson. This is a packet full of uh, Mayor Welch's achievements over the last two years in office, but it also gives a glimpse into what he might be doing in the future, which includes what you just mentioned. He also highlights community events and campaigns he's promised to keep up, which also includes his promise to an anti-violence campaign called Not My Child. But like we said, that undeniable push for development downtown. Town. That also includes uh, moving forward with that $6 million investment into the Ray Stadium deal, which includes redevelopment into the historic gas plant district. Weld promising it will include jobs, nonprofit, and green spaces for this area. But also in this report, a detailed look at a 10 year plan to address the expensive housing market. In 2023, St. Pete started working on 834 multifamily units, permitted another 154 non subsidized workforce homes, and also sold 10 city owned single family lots to qualified families as a part of the affordable lot disposition program. Plus, a lot more on the way. Welch says this work will continue throughout the next several years. And again, Caitlin, this state of the city, it's happening um, at 11 o'clock and he'll go over, Mayor Welch will go over everything that he's been working on, plus uh, what will be happening in the coming years for the rest of his term. All right. Thanks, Andrea. And a lot of people still concerned about this project, especially the funding. So is this address open to anybody today? This is a public event over at the Palladium Theater. Again, it happens at 11 o'clock. You can go and listen to the State of the City address and then potentially ask questions afterwards. Live in St. Pete, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, thanks, Andrea. We do want to know what you think of what's happening in the city of St. Pete right now. Are you happy with things? Do you want to see things changed? You can text your thoughts to 727-577-8522. We'll send your response to our reporter, Aaron Parsegian, who will press the mayor later this morning with those reactions. I'm now